Thanks for staying with us. Now, the United States Congress recently held a public hearing on the subject of UFOs. So, before we discuss the significance of this move with investigative filmmaker Jeremy Corbell, here's a look at the role he has played in the moment that was 50 years in the making. This hearing and oversight work has a simple idea at its core. Unidentified aerial phenomena are a potential national security threat, and they need to be treated that way. Your name came up in the hearing, really near the beginning of the hearing, because of all these videos you have released that were leaked to you. Absolutely. I obtained and released military film, Pentagon confirmed UFO videos. We have multi-sensor data, multi-platform footage, and everything corroborates the eyewitness testimony from our weapons platforms. We do have craft from unknown origin that is more technologically advanced than anything we've ever created. And Jeremy joins us this morning from Los Angeles. Good morning to Jeremy. So, Jeremy, do UFOs actually exist? Yeah, we, we are way past that point. We're, we're now living in a different world. You've been told UFOs are real. They're machines of unknown origin. They can outmaneuver, outpace, and outperform anything in our weaponry or arsenals or of any known technological nation. That's why we had these hearings was to reduce the stigma, to educate the public. So tell us about those hearings, because, and the fact that your name was dropped in Congress. I mean, why was that such a, a big moment? Well, I think it was a big moment for everybody. A lot of people have been curious about UFOs. UFOs are one of the most spectacular mysteries that humankind has, has been engaging with for so long. This is not just a modern phenomena, but now as our sensor systems, as our data collection, our optic systems, our militaries are able to see an increased frequency. And not only, it's not just somebody saying it anymore, like a pilot who could face stigma before, but it's all of our technology that is now picking these up and tracking them and seeing these incredible maneuvers that these machines made by somebody. And that's the big question. So Really, we, we are living in a world where our children are going to grow up and it's not going to be something that we laugh at. It's going to be something that we scientifically study and we try to get to the bottom of because it, it could change our relationship to the world around us if we started to understand what the UFO presence on planet Earth means to humankind. So, so, so yeah, what I mean, are we seeing in yeah, those what pictures? What are we seeing in the pictures here? So are you saying, that, is this stuff that was leaked to you? Yeah, I obtained and released military film, Pentagon confirmed videos of UFOs or UAPs. So these images you're seeing, like not this one here, but the green footage you were seeing before, that was from one of our warships. But that was one piece out of four pieces of corroborative visual evidence. What I mean is that we had four different types of footage and radar going at the same time and we're filming these things, and they're performing in extreme ways. So, Jeremy, why are, why are they being covered up? Why are governments covering this up and not releasing it to the general public? Well, I think it's a, a little simple when we look at it just like somebody is covering this up. For sure, there's a national security aspect to the UFO phenomenon because they, they perform and they show things, they display propulsion systems that we don't yet have. We don't even know how to begin making them. So it is natural for a government to want a technological advantage, but that day has done past. We, we can't ignore this anymore. So the secrecy within our government is one aspect of what you'd call a cover-up. But additionally, we do it to ourselves. Every time you bring up UFOs 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you know, you're kind of the crazy uncle. You talk about these things and we have been kind of conditioned to not look at actual reality and to have a consensus reality that is not quite matching with, with our natural world. So do, so we're seeing these things. Are the government not getting really... Is this not being mentioned in Congress because it's not aliens we're thinking. It's actually other countries potentially putting drones up and spying on each other. Is that not well, 
the big concern that, with this. Yeah, that does that does happen. That's a huge concern, but that is not what we're talking about. So you're talking, talking about, about, about are, are extraterrestrial we, yeah. life form here. Well, we, we don't know. We don't know where they're from, but but here's the deal. I mean, I, it would be disingenuous for me to say that I know these were ETs, that these were extraterrestrials. There are a number of other options, but they're not foreign nations. This is not a technology from any civilization that we know of here on Earth. So where do UFOs come from? The pilots of them, where are they made? Where are the factories? So some people will say, well, they must be extraterrestrial. But other ideas are still on the table. There's this idea of extra temporal, which is that these machines somehow distort time and space. There's ultra di dimensional. There's all these ideas, even you know, a, a civilization that has been here all along, that is more advanced. And, and, and this is one of the options. So I'd like to keep my mind open when trying to understand what it is we're seeing. What we know for sure, what we know is that UFOs are real, that they are machines, that they have a technology that we have yet to even become able to, to fabricate or to replicate in any way at all. And that UFOs have been here since the beginning of recorded human history, if not before. If this isn't the greatest mystery of human time, I, I don't know what is. Yeah, because Jeremy, this goes back to like, do you believe that the whole uh, situation around Roswell and Area 51 and like when we go back to Roswell all those many, many years ago about that the, the, the US government actually did have a live alien and they covered it all up. Right, well, so UFOs, it, it's not a matter of belief, it, it's true. If people don't know that, they haven't been paying attention, but then there's all these auxiliary mysteries you know, and, and where there's smoke, there's fire. So Area 51, famously, a man came forward named Bob Lazar, and he talked about having the role of trying to reverse engineer one of these craft. Now, the evidence suggests and supports that there are pilots on these craft, that yeah. somebody is operating yeah. them, and it's not just an artificial intelligence. So have we made contact? Do we have bodies? Do we have some sort of communication, even if limited, with whoever's piloting these craft? The answer is yes. But to prove that, we need the books to be open. So UFOs <laughs> do exist. <laughs> they well, they I, do I, exist. I, or there is something out there. You listen, believe there is something out there. I want to see what's in that safe. Have you got something in there <laughs> behind you? Again, I don't believe any of this. This is fact. UFOs are real. So it's fact. Um, UFOs are real. You heard it here, Tommy. Yeah, man. You heard it here. And I know I was reading even the notes, like sightings in Ireland as well. Yeah. Um, and and a number of people were claimed that they saw this bright V shape in the sky as well. Uh, listen, fascinating stuff. I know um, we were both really interested. Yeah, we to didn't get even get to the UAPs. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Jeremy uh, Corbell, listen, thank you so much for uh, for talking to us and staying up really late to talk to us this morning. No problem. Thank you, guys. My curiosity is my curse, but I'm a man of simple taste. I'm always satisfied with the absolute truth, and that's what we're going for here, is to open the books on UFOs. So thank you for what you're doing. Absolutely. Thank you so well, much. We'd love to hear from people at home. Oh, yes. 9, 6, 1, Have 1. you ever seen a sighting? Have you ever seen anything? Yeah. And not on your way home from the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Have your footage. Send us yeah, in a your picture. Footage. Send us your footage of your I UFOs. We'd love to see it. <laughs> Merlin's over there squirming, <laughs> isn't she? Just the balloon lads or some of those things Come that leave up at weddings. No, hey, I believe. Up your of mind. Course, excuse me, I do believe in aliens. Of course, there's aliens. Do it's you? Never, yeah, we live in an ever-expanding universe, yeah. so of course UFOs there's other life forms out there. We heard it here. I just know that they get in. They get through security so handy, like Dublin Airport. Dublin They're Airport. Not, I mean, the come VIP on, lads. Service. They're keeping that open for the UFO 